Is it giving no foundation? It's not, but we didn't use any foundation today. We didn't use any foundation today. What's up Stitcher and welcome, welcome back to another video with the Stitch Life. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my summer makeup routine, makeup, the makeup routine that I've been doing for the last couple of weeks whenever I do do makeup. It's not an everyday mood routine, but it can be. I'm not wearing makeup every single day, but it can definitely serve as an everyday summer makeup routine. So if you guys are interested, definitely keep on watching and stay tuned. Before we start today's video off, if you're already liking my energy, go ahead and leave your girl a thumbs up down below. Subscribe down below as well to become a part of the stitch gang become a stitch gal and be sure to also follow my socials on instagram and tiktok at the stitch life now that we got that out the way let's get into it this makeup routine is not long at all so i don't want to make this video too long so let's get into it and my brows are already done my contacts are in og triple sg's know that i need to get contacts and the other day i realized that i had color contacts that i ordered maybe like a year ago but i never wore them i never even tried them on prior to ordering them but my mom has always worn color contacts similar to this style, like a hazel greenish color. I think she has hazel and green. This is more, I don't even know, chat. I don't even know what this color is called. But I found this pair in a stash and I was like, I'm out of contacts, so this is just gonna have to do. And I actually really like them. I'm still getting used to the color and the feel because they do feel different than natural contacts with no color. But let me know how you guys are feeling them. Yeah, we're wearing contacts. We're wearing color contacts. But I'm starting off with my Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. I got this as a gift from a friend. And at first I didn't like it, but it's because I didn't know how to use it. This is perfect for the summer months because it is a blurring primer, but it's perfect for the hot days. When I say your makeup does not move, with this primer, it does not move. So at first, I think I was using it, that was rude. At first I was using it with um, a mattifying foundation and you can't do that unless you're super oily. I do have combination dry skin, so it just wasn't working out for me. I was looking a little bit too dry, but now I know what I'm doing. So face is primed. My face looks a little blurred. What do you guys think? What do y'all think? For the summer months, I like to underpaint. That's what's been working for me. Then I go in with something else with some coverage. So let's get into underpainting. So I'm gonna go with my concealer. Then in my contour, I'm gonna add a little bit of blush, blend that out. For concealer, I've been loving the Sephora Best Skin Ever. This is pretty close to my skin color. So I go in with this. This is in the shade 55N. So I'm just gonna add a little bit, just a little bit, just for a little bit of coverage. And I conceal underneath my eyes a bit on the bridge right in here on my chin and then a little bit on my forehead just that that's all I do for concealing okay if you have dark spots now is the perfect time to conceal those I have a little bit but they don't show through with the item that I'm gonna use to cover the rest of my face so I'm not pressed about them but for contour I'm gonna go in with the LYS bronzer stick I have the shade worthy the no limits worthy bronzer stick and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit to contour my face I'm doing everything first, doing all the prep steps first before applying my foundation. And now I like to go in with my foundation brush to just blend out the con the contour first, sorry. And I'm just patting to press it into the skin, just like that. Got a little crazy on this side. So that's contour, blend it out. Now I feel like everyone needs this brush. This is the Sephora 71 Pro Concealer Brush. This is perfect for blending out concealer. I need to pick up another one of these. Now is the time that I'm gonna blend out my concealer. And I'm doing the same thing, just patting it in. And you can always go in with a little bit more concealer or a brightening concealer if you would like, but I'm keeping things natural. So this one is perfect for me. And I go in with the slightest amount of concealer as you guys can see. I just want a little bit of coverage. Blend, 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 blend. And I'm just going back with the brush that I used to blend out my contour to blend it with the concealer. 
And now I'm gonna go on with my blush of choice. This is the Rare Beauty Lucky Liquid Blush. She is bright, so we're gonna tread lightly. We're gonna tread lightly, but not so light because I am gonna put something on top of this. So I still want it to be seen once I apply my next product, but one, two. Just like that, one, two. One, two. And I like to blend this right away because it dries rather quickly. So I'm gonna use a little small brush. This one is the e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator Brush. And I'm just gonna blend this. And I'm just pressing it into the skin, as you guys can see. And I know it looks very scary, but do not worry. So this is where we are. Yeah, still with me, right? Okay, next, to blend everything all together, I like to go in with my e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This one right here, I have the shade seven deep rich and i love this this was great last summer but it's even better this summer i feel like i've mastered different ways of using this this has been working for me for the past few weeks so of course i'm going to show you guys what i do with it for our summer makeup routine so i just go in and pull out the doe foot and i do one two one two and i might do one two a little bit right here because we only have concealer there and that's all that I apply with this. So on days that I want a little bit more coverage, I'll mix it with my Dior Face and Body, Backstage Face and Body. This is the shade 6W, I love this. But today we're keeping it simple. Like, I mean, if I'm really like trying to get a little bit more coverage, I'll go in with this, but this on its own is great. So this is a glowy, dewy product. But being that I paired it with the Glow Recipe strawberry bha pore smooth blur drops it keeps the oils at bay so if you have this and you want to make it work for the summertime pair it with a, a mattifying primer so next up i like to spray my face i go in with the milk hydro grip and i also go in with the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray Woo! i needed that it's so hot i needed that and i also spray my brush and we blend and I'm going over all the areas that I've already applied product. So over my concealer, over my contour, all of that. Blend, 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 blend. Same with my forehead. My forehead. Just merging everything together. Do you see how the blush has been toned down just a little bit. Like it's not as harsh as it was before. I told y'all to trust me. I told you guys to trust me. We look good. It's giving my skin, but better, right? That's always what I'm going for, to be honest. That's always the look that I'm going for. Dewy, my skin, but better, radiant. That's my vibe. That's me and radiant makeup. We go hand in hand. So next I'm going to set. I like to, I, well, my one size beauty powder finish. So I'm using all the other ones before buying something else. Before replenishing anything, I have a ton of setting powder. So this is the one that I've been using since my one size beauty has recently finished. This is the Sephora translucent setting powder. This is, this is, this is just as good as the Laura Mercier. This is just as good as your one size beauties. It's a good powder. And then I like to just set my cream contour with my powder contour powder. This is the LYS No Limits Matte Bronzer in Strength dark that's what she looks like I'm gonna set with my beauty blender puffer I forgot what this is called but I'm gonna set my under eye with this and then just go in with a angled brush to you know chisel out the cheeks just a little bit more just a little bit of powder nothing too crazy and we're setting everywhere that we put product on I like to set my brows as well so they don't move. Now bronzing. Hit and pan on my Charlotte Tilbury powder, but this is what we're using to set the entire face. How we looking, how we looking, how we looking. It looks like I have foundation on, but I do not have foundation on, and that is good. So kudos to us. But I don't think I told you guys the actual name. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. This is in the shade 4 Deep Fonts. 
darkest shade unfortunately but this is so good I, obviously i mean i hit pan on it we might have to re up real soon so you guys saw how much blush we had right you see how it damn near like kind of disappeared i mean it's still kind of visible it's even like natural but i'm gonna add a little bit a little bit more brush blush because i've been loving blush since the spring i've been blushing it up so i'm gonna add a bit more this is the Hawes lab um color color fuse blush and the color watermelon bliss i'm just gonna add a little bit just to bring just bring a little bit of color back just bring a little bit of color back I'm just tapping it in. This is pretty. You do not need a lot of this one for sure. And then this is optional. I know not everyone is into like highlighters now. I still love me a good highlighter. So I'm going to go in with my highlighter of choice. This is the Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter in the color Gilded Glow. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to apply a little bit because I like highlighter. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. Some people are over the highlighter or, or like past their highlighter phase, but... I still like it. Right? Right? Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit to all the places that I would normally highlight under my brow bone. And that's it. I am going to go in with my contour powder again to just apply a little bit into my crease. Just because we didn't put any concealer there. I typically do and set, but. It's summer. We ain't. We, don't, we barely got time for this makeup look. <laughs> we barely got time for that. And my next step is my lippy. I'm keeping it real simple, real simple. <gasps> is my pencil finished? There's nothing in there. Oh, there it goes. I feel like it melted. <gasps> is this done? Selena, we have to talk. Okay, it popped out. This is my rare beauty lip pencil in the color strong she ain't that strong <laughs> she popped out she broke in half but i love this lip pencil nonetheless so i'm gonna use it to line my lips i've been keeping it real chill with the lippy y'all know me i'm a nude gal if you don't know i'm a nude gal if you're new here i'm a nude gal why am i talking and doing this but I also like a pinky shade every now and then. So today I'm going to use my Dior. This is out of stock. I'm sorry. I think they discontinued this. At least on Sephora site, it's no longer available. But I feel like it will pair really well with the blush that we're using. This is the Dior, Dior Addict Stella Lip Gloss in the color 354 Dior So Light. Isn't she cute? It's the pinky nude. I like it. It's so pretty. So I'm going to use this and apply it to our lips. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. This is sold out. Well, let's just continue something. Y'all better write Dior. Yes. It's definitely a goodie. I recommended it during a Sephora sale, and it's just amazing. And last but not least, obviously optional, I'm going to go in with mascara. I haven't really been wearing lashes. If I'm going out, I'm putting on my lashes. But for a quick flex, a quick run out, and I just need to throw in a little something, something for coverage, this situation that i'm showing you guys today i'm just wearing mascara so i've been liking the nyx worth the hype volumizing and lengthening mascara this is what she looks like this is what she looks like and y'all know me i'm always gonna put my moles on this is the art liner from lancome i've had this for the longest so i'm gonna do my moles first and i just highlight my moles that got hidden during the process while adding some extra ones that were never there. Thank you. And then mascara. You can opt to apply your mascara after or before you set. If you do it before you set with setting spray, try to wait a little bit because sometimes, you know, it can bleed. And I don't really have lashes like that. But fine by me. And this is basically the makeup situation. I'm gonna set off camera with my two, with the two sprays that I used earlier, the Milk Hydro Grip, in addition to the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. And I think we can get into some slow mo. So I'm just gonna change my earring so it can kind of fit the dress that I'm wearing. So let's get to it. It's 
quite baffling that I'm not wearing foundation, eh? What do you think? Talk to me, let me know how we're feeling it. I'm definitely feeling it. Is it giving no foundation? It's not, but we didn't use any foundation today. We didn't use any foundation today. Let, so this is the finished look. Let me know how you guys are feeling it. Honestly, this could take me an easy 15 minutes if I'm not talking through it. Obviously it takes a little bit longer for me to record a video because I'm talking through it, but this look can literally take me 15 minutes quick and fast for the summer because we don't got time to be inside. We outside we outside so let me know what you guys think about this look honestly nothing changes in this routine except for the blush and the highlighter and the lippy actually because i have a ton of lip glosses so the lippy can change but everything else stays the same i might add a lash to it i might not i might just stick to mascara and call it a day but this is what i've been doing for the past couple of weeks all the times that you guys you guys have seen me on camera prior to this video since the summer has started this is what i've been doing so i hope you guys really enjoyed this look let me know if you guys will be trying this routine out this summer i don't know if i mentioned but every single product that i use today will be linked down below as usual so definitely check the description box so that brings us to the end of my summer makeup routine i hope you guys really enjoyed if you did be sure to leave your girl a thumbs up down below subscribe down below as well and join the stitch game become a stitch gal join our lovely family be sure to also share this video with one of your friends that you think this video will be helpful to and if you haven't already follow me on my socials instagram and on tiktok at the stitch life hope to see you guys all over there on those platforms and until the next video i love you guys thank you guys so so much for watching and until the next time bye guys